feminine, femininity represents kind of soft love, masculinity represents sort of tough love. So for, and, and children need both in order to be emotionally healthy and well adjusted, for you mean instance. You can't have parents of the same gender? <laughs> Sex for both? Yeah. Yeah. Not so biologically, for instance, you I mean, can't the, make the kid will get fed, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so let's say as an example, little eight year old Tommy comes up to mom and says, Oh, mom, I drew this picture for you and trees and building, et cetera. And so mom's going to be like, Oh, this is wonderful. I love it. Let's put it on the fridge. So she's a dad. And dad's going to be like, well, that's very nice, son. That's very fine. But, you know, here's how you can do a better job of this. And I'll show you how. <laughs> so in a sense, it's which, you know, you need both. That? A child, no, absolutely. A child needs both. He, he, he did the unconditional affection and love of the mother, but then also needs to be challenged by the father to do better. He needs both. Um, now, what is the perfect example of authentic femininity? Our lady. Our lady, of course. I always like to look to our lady. Um, you know, comparing it to our Lord. He was called to be very active. Men are generally called to be active to be leaders. He, he went and preached and taught, traveled, healed, suffered in his body. Our Lady was not called to do that. She was called to be the heart of the home. She um, contemplated deeply. She pondered these things in her heart. She united her prayers with our Lord's. She stood at the cross. She was not called to suffer physically in her body. What she was called to do, and this is what I, where I think women excel, is in the gift of compassion.